in many cases, you want to represent all of your numbers, currencies, dates in the format that your user expects. So not in the format that you would create as, an, as a salesperson or as a Salesforce user, but in the format your user expects. In this case, this example, I did not set the format that my user expects. So it took the format that I have currently set in Salesforce for my user. Let me explain a little bit about a locale. What's a locale? A locale is a combination of language and country. This is very important because in some countries they speak multiple languages or and in those multiple languages they actually format dates, times, currencies, numbers in a different way. So we must respect that when we send something out. So doing nothing, it will just take the locale of my current user and my current user is set in Dutch, Belgium. So I'm in Belgium and I speak Dutch. What happens in a locale, it says here that my language is Dutch and L and that my country is Belgium. So now for the formatting, it will know what to do. And you can see that everywhere. You can see that here in the in the uh, euro sign and in the formatting, the comma for a, uh, for a decimal separator. Uh, you can see how my dates are uh, translated in, uh, in Dutch. So all of this is taken. Now let's move that to the context of our customer. We know that our customer here is linked to a certain account and we need a, some way from that account or from a contact or from any way that you want to do that in Salesforce, that's your own choice. We need to know this locale of our customer. So what we have, what I have set up here as for the demo is that on my account, and that is this uh, record, I have actually a field and it's where I can easily set the locale. This is the easiest way to do it. Uh, you can uh, have uh, pick lists here. You can have uh, very complex uh, formulas here. Any way to do it, the only thing we need is a field to define what is the locale of our customer, of our uh, context. So also here, I've just created a very simple uh, formula field to pick up the locale that is set on the account. Now let's uh, configure PDF Butler to make sure that this locale is used when uh, generating the, uh, the documents. We just go to the uh, PDF Butler Lightning component. I indicate that I want to use a field as, an, uh, as a locale. And I, this field is currently this one, uh, the currency locale. And so it has to be the API name of the field. I just set it here, click Save, and from now on, that field, the value of that field will be used to set our locale. This you can do from anywhere in uh, that you call PDF button in Salesforce. If you want to do it from a process builder, from a, a, a button that we uh, that we also support, from Apex, whatever, anyway, anywhere you can always set the locale. So I go back and if I now generate my document, you see that my uh, locale is uh, uh, English US of my customer locales is English US. So if I now click the formatting uh, button, I will actually see that everything is now in dollars, that the uh, dot is now the decimal separator. The dates are uh, actually translated in English. So all of this is now completely uh, configured and completely set formatted in the context of my customer. There is another video on our um, on our academy on multi-currency orgs. This is not the context of this video. This video is about formatting. So if you want to do multi-currency, uh, please check out our multi-currency video on our academy. Okay, so let's play around a little bit. Let's see what happens if I change my locale here to uh, France uh, FR. So if I'm a French speaker in France. Most people in French, uh, France speak French, but okay, let's, uh, this is how the locales work. So let's just uh, do this. You can see it now, it's updated. If I now generate the, uh, uh, the PDF, you will see that it actually took the French one now. And you see that in France, for instance, for our thousand separator, they just use uh, a space and they also use a comma for uh, a uh, separator of the decimals. Vendredi means Friday, so everything is now in um, 
uh, translated nicely in French. So works very well. Um, let's play around. Let's do one more uh, one more item here. Let's say that I want to move to uh, France in Canada. So uh, there are Canadian people that speak French as well. If I save this one, just refresh my my opportunity. So my um, my formula here gets updated. Okay, and I regenerate, and hopefully it's French Canada. You can see it's still vendredi, so that's okay. But now it switched to uh, uh, to dollars. Um, so for the rest, everything looks really, really great. So. Uh, now let's take a look how to configure that, what to do in PDF Butter to get this kind of results. What we have here is our configuration and I can just download my document from here. So, so uh, what we have in this document here is some uh, information about the number uh, so that we want to format and all of this stuff that is there. So let's run through it step by step. If you want to have a number formatting, you can see that on our opportunity, our number uh, here will be set. Huh? The tracking number is of type number. The created date is of the type date time. We have a close date as well normally here, as you can see, that's of uh, type date, and we have some amount that's of type currency. So here in our uh, setup already, in our data sources, we know perfectly well what kind of types of fields we are using, and that's the kind of types we will, of course, use in our uh, configuration. So for instance, we want to do this tracking number. We want, to uh, we want no formatting, so that's very easy. You just say, yeah, from the minute uh, you click this, uh, from the second you click this uh, configuration, it knows that the tracking number is a number, so it will uh, say formatting or no formatting. This case is no formatting. The result, as you can see, just the number as we would see it in Salesforce. It's over here. When it's formatting, let's take a look at the second example. Then, yeah you can do actually whatever you want. In this case, I told that there are no decimals. You can see that the dot here is a decimal separator um, and there should be at least a zero. So all of the uh, um, um, the hashtags, they can uh, this, they don't show when they, when they are uh, absent um, and the zero has to always show as a number. This is the thousand separator, so I still want the thousand separator. Means that here in this case, the thousand separator is a space, and you can see every thousand is nicely separated by a space, as you would expect. Okay, let's move on. Let's do something uh, more interesting. The currency, uh, no formatting, that's easy. Let's take a look at the currency formatting. With the currency formatting, you can just say, I want the currency formatted. PDF Butter knows about the formatting of every currency. So if you indicate that your customer is, uh, uh, is France, French Canada, we would know what kind of currency to format. Again, if you do not want to have the dollar sign here, look at our multi-currency video or just change the, uh, uh, the type in the, in the data uh, source from this field to cur from currency to number. And then you can format it any way you want. So we know by the currency, uh, sorry, by the locale how to format this currency. So that's easy. You just flip it and then it's uh, formatted in that correct currency. Let's take a look at the date. Um, a date, no formatting. Okay, that's easy. Then we just uh, take the date format that has sales that's from Salesforce. Date format short. Uh, so we have some predefined formats for dates and date times uh, that you can just use out of the box. So you do not have to do anything complex. Um, so yeah, it's all defined by the uh, by the locale, of course. So it's all locale aware. Means we know about the uh, the context of your customer, and we do everything in that context. So that's an easy one, uh, a more complex one. If let's take a look at the date formatting for the custom. And we can see here now, for instance, that what we want here is the year, then we want the space, then we want the month uh, uh, written, not, uh, not, in, uh, not in numbers, and then we want the day. It's, it's a formatting that you can use. You can specify, read the documentation on it. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of possibilities. Total freedom in your formatting. What happens here, as you can see, the year, 
the month written uh, written in, uh, in in full letters text and then the day that's the 18th okay so we have the same for the date time of course we have our short formatting our custom formatting is more interesting let's take a look i really made a complex example here as you can see we really want to show everything we want to show the day we want to show the uh, the day the month uh, the year and the time that actually everything was set up so we can format that any way we want and yeah okay same thing here read the documentation and just try it you can always contact support if you need some help on this uh, on this formatting but yeah you have complete freedom on how to do that of course, we have some constants in uh, in PDF Butter. Sometimes you don't want to have a date from uh, from Salesforce. You just want to have the date of today, of now. Uh, so this is uh, today. This is now. Maybe you want to do some uh, something special, uh, something specific for uh, for in regards of your uh, uh, context, and then you can just set the uh, uh, or use this uh, altern uh, sorry this locale whenever you need it so that's very easy to uh, to do you can just uh, use the cadmus constants here and then use the locale the alternative the now the today all of these fields are available and yeah same thing here it knows that it's a that it's a date so it will have the formatting automatically uh, automatically set okay this is it this is all our formatting information if you need more information please uh, uh, contact us at support at pdfbutter.com and we're happy to help you